We're going to talk about security clearances. And in this section, we'll talk about security clearances for the facility and then the security clearance for, of course, the what everybody wants is their own personal security clearance. Uh, or call it a personnel security clearance. And then um, we'll talk about the level of foreign ownership control or influence that may be that may make a clear defense contractor entity vulnerable. It's just like, you know, um, when we go through our 13 adjudicated processes, <clears throat> the investigators and adjudicator wants to know how much foreign influence is over us, but we also do the same thing for the facilities. All right, so here are the, the areas that we're gonna cover. There are a lot of areas in chapter two, <clears throat> and we're gonna go through those and make sure you understand it. So we're chapter one, you know that if you're ever in a situation and uh, something happens and you need to know um, the administrator and the control and the issuance of the NISPOM, you know that's gonna be in chapter one. Any reporting requirements, who to report, how to report, why and when, that's gonna be in chapter two. Who's gonna come in, I mean chapter one, who's gonna come and inspect us and make sure that our classified information is not vulnerable? Uh, that's going to be chapter one, so you've got that. So now in chapter two, um, this is specifically in regards to how to maintain the personnel and the facility security clearances. <clears throat> All right. Now, facility clearance is a determination. You know if you have a facility security clearance that the government has said, I trust this facility. I know that they're in the, when they build our systems or perform their services according to time, schedule, and performance, they're also gonna protect the information, all sensitive information against unauthorized exposure. We've got this agreement in the DD Form 441, and we know that all of their employees have signed the, the um, non-disclosure agreement, so it's all gonna be good. So now, We've got the seal of approval from the government. The government is looking at this clear defense facility and say they're able and more than able to access classified information. Um, now they can, they can win classified contracts and perform the work. Um, they'll all be able, I know that they have a secret facility clearance, so they'll be able to perform work up to the secret level at this facility or at other locations. But there's some things that should not be done. Um, you know, all of us have a LinkedIn account or professional account or even personal um, social media accounts, but that is not the place to put your clearance. You're not supposed to be putting that in the newspaper or on the socials or on your website. The clearance level remains need to know only. So that should not be exposed for other people to look at. There should be no public announcement saying, yay, Jeff Bennett Incorporated just got their secret clearance. Come join us and bring us work. That should never be done at any um, announcements or symposiums or, or any gatherings um, unless it's a um, classified meeting. Then everybody can know what your level is because they have to know. Um, uh, now, the cool thing about facility clearances is if the DOD um, determine if or if the army determined that um your facility is able to protect classified information at the secret level then the navy should honor that and then the navy honored that and if the army honors that then the um secretary of energy should honor that and so on it should be a reciprocal clearance opportunity and that goes in the fact that the um nispom should not cause a burden on the cleared employee Either should the government cause a burden that's reciprocal or redundant. So look at the statement down here at the um, bottom right. That is legit. That came out of LinkedIn. And they said, um, just read it. This is a group for security cleared professionals holding a current or active top secret or secret classification granted by the U.S. government. Um, that's not wise. I did not join this group. Um, I can guarantee 
that is probably not a good group to join and that maybe the people running this group are trying to collect information or you know maybe it's just an unwise decision from well-meaning people i didn't want to take the chance i don't want to be associated with this and um it's just not wise but anyway there are groups out there and this is not what you're supposed to be doing with your um, personnel security clearance <clears throat> so how does the um how does somebody get a facility clearance well the contractor definitely cannot put in for their own facility clearance um, i've had a lot of questions um, throughout my career from people who um want to um, start their own company or they have their own company and they say, hey, how do I get a facility clearance? I want to bid on these um, contracts. 